India's next game, 4G to replace PUBG. Prince of Persia Remaster might be showcased in the next Ubisoft Forward and Overwatch 2 will be coming in 2021. Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Top Gaming News. My name is Gin Manis and make sure to smash that like button right down there and let's just begin with some amazing news. After Indian government banned PUBG Mobile, we now have a new game coming under the mentorship of Akshay Kumar named Foji. The game was trending all over India because it was actually being promoted by literally every single person who saw the post by Akshay Kumar. And he said that those who will play this game will understand the sacrifice of soldiers and contribute to the family of martyrs. This game is going to be developed by Encore who said that they will be contributing 20% of net revenue to Bharat Ke Veer Trust which is paying homage to the Indian soldiers. Now I'm not so sure how this game is going to be because they said that the first mission is going to be in Galwan Valley backdrop and you will be in a team of 5 people. Well, I believe it's going to be a replacement of PUBG anyways because first of all, the name is called 4G and second, you will be in a team of 5 and third, it's coming to mobile. So maybe this Galwan Valley might be a part of the map or maybe it is a map. They also released a poster of 4G, it looks really good. But wait a second, it looks like it's a copy. After a few hours, it was immediately pointed out that this game's poster is actually a copy of an image which is posted by an artist in Shutterstock. The artist goes by the name Fet Tai and he uploaded this very image into Shutterstock, a place where you can buy stock images and videos and more and he also uploaded another copy to his personal Instagram account. Now, it's horrible to see that developers are actually making a game but they're not able to make an original poster for the game, instead they're looking for Shutterstock and photoshopping it and making it an official poster. Again, this is not illegal or wrong thing to do but it's just that they're developing this game why cannot they develop a original poster? Now to be honest, I'm really happy that India is actually pushing towards games and Akshay Kumar is actually promoting a game like this. But then again, there are also other games such as Razi, which is supposed to be releasing next month and Yodha, which is also currently in development. There are also PC games and they are also based on Indian mythology. But they're not getting any support from Indian government. Instead, we have game like Foji. So maybe this game will turn out really good, who knows, but we have to wait and see when this game comes out because this game is coming out by the end of October. Now I don't have any hate against 4G, I just want this game to look better and feel better when it comes out. So what do you guys think of 4G? Will you guys be trying this game out when it releases on mobile? Let me know in the comments below because I'm going to reply to you from an account in Shutterstock. There's this new game coming out very soon and it's a survival competitive game called Scavengers. Now this game is going to be a PvE VP game where you will survive this world filled with monsters. You will also have to take down actual players who will be coming to kill you. And you will also have to survive as you have to eat food and also keep yourself warm. There's a lot of things that's happening in this game and you have to do them all. So this game will be a team based game where you will probably sent to this world and you will have to survive by killing animals and eating food and then keeping yourself warm because this is a cold place. Then there are monsters that you need to kill. Those are AI monsters, so you have to kill them. And then there are other players that you will have to kill as well. Looking at the trailer, it looks like there will be some weather effects as well. So this game looks like it's gonna be a hell lot more chaotic. Now very recently they released a trailer for this game and they also mentioned that they're doing a playtest. Now this playtest is going to happen from September 18th to September 22nd and you can register yourself for the playtest by going to playscavenger.com. The game will include large scale battles with a number of AI trying to attack you and also some other creatures. The studio says that this game has some features of battle royale but in the end it's a survival game where you need to maintain hunger levels and avoid freezing yourself along with the PvE with competitive gameplay. The game looks really beautiful in my opinion and it looks really really interesting because I really like survival games and I wanna play survival games. What do you guys think of scavengers? Let me know in the comments below because I am really excited to play it and I hope I get the game to play test. No Man's Sky Studio Hello Games seems to be making a huge ambitious game like No Man's Sky. Very recently the studio from out of nowhere released a game called The Last Campfire. This is an exploration puzzle game about empathy, loss and hope and it actually looks really cute. It is being referred as Hello Games Short because it's not a big game. It's a short game. Yeah, I know you understand it already. Speaking of No Man's Sky is still one of the top 100 games on Steam which means a lot of people are actually enjoying this game. When the game was announced back in E3, 
there was lots of hope that was presented to us with the trailer and with what they showcased. But then the game came out and it was horrible and a lot of people wanted refund from this game. Like a hell lot of people. But then over the years, they actually changed the game and rectified all the mistakes that they made. They literally made the game the way they always wanted to. And now we have a game that everybody seems to enjoy. And they still made more content for it. They made DLC expansions, which are really good. Founder of Hello Games, Sean Murray, has told that he doesn't regret the path they took to build this game. It's as if they're building a rocket and taking it towards the sun, but they're also building that rocket as they go towards the sun. This time they're taking a look back at the things they learned by making No Man's Sky and making sure that none of those mistakes are done again. He said that a lot of opportunities were put in front of us for No Man's Sky and it was told that these will be very beneficial but looking back at them now, he doesn't know that those opportunities were actually beneficial. Hello Games in the end is an indie developer who made this very big game No Man's Sky and I totally have faith in them and I believe that they have learned a lot more and they will probably be making a very very fantastic game when it comes out. Now all I hope that they show a trailer of a game that they actually worked on, you know? Now speaking of that, what this new game will be? Who knows, maybe it's gonna be another space exploration or time travel. I don't know, I just like time travel concept ever since watching Dark. I really love time travel concept even more. A few weeks ago, there were rumors about Prince of Persia remake coming out since it was seen in a retailer website where it was shown that it is made available for PS4 and Nintendo Switch. And now those rumors are getting even more stronger. Jason Scribe, Bloomberg reporter, spoke on the latest Triple Click podcast that Ubisoft is planning to use this Ubisoft Forward event to announce a bunch of games like Prince of Persia Remaster. Now this is really interesting because Jason Spryer has actually talked about Prince of Persia Remaster but then again that retailer website from where the rumor came out says that the game will be only available in PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch and I hope that's not the case and it also comes out on PC. Ubisoft CEO has told that he isn't scared of Prince of Persia fans because they will be providing something for the fans and they also say that this franchise is as important as any other franchise. Then why oh why did you release a mobile game for Prince of Persia, which looks nothing like Prince of Persia? Now Ubisoft will be holding Ubisoft Forward this very Thursday and they have promised that they will be revealing more big games and more news. They also said that they will feature Immortal Phoenix Rising, which was formerly known as Gods and Monsters. And speaking of Gods and Monsters, a leak suggests that the game will be releasing on December 2nd this very year. This leak is apparently from the same guy who leaked that Gods and Monsters will be renamed and will be also shown in Ubisoft Forward, so maybe this leak is actually true. And speaking of Ubisoft Forward, we have another game called Beyond Good and Evil 2 and I believe that that will be showcased as well. Beyond Good and Evil 2 was last shown in 2018 where they showed the gameplay of the game after the E3 press conference. And ever since that, we have not seen anything about the game. They have not talked about it, they have not shown any new screenshots, nothing. They have gone radio silence. And I hope that this time in Ubisoft Forward, they do at least talk about the game because they really want to see this game, at least just show it to me. Now if this Ubisoft Forward will have more new games, then I'm really looking forward to it. Get it? Forward? Just like Ubisoft Forward? A Blizzard leaker with a proven track record of leaking stuff tweeted out that Overwatch 2 will have a beta and a release next year. Overwatch 2 was shown back in 2019 in BlizzCon and this game will have a new story mode which will expand the lore of Overwatch, more new heroes and more PvE situations and everything else remains the same. And ever since that trailer dropped, they have gone radio silence which they also mentioned that they will go radio silence. So they are doing their job correctly. Now we speak of Overwatch itself, it was a really successful game. It is actually one of those games that I got really competitive of. I was willing to go to tournaments for this game and I still play this game from time to time, especially with the events that they uh, bring us. And I've never uninstalled this game over the last four freaking years. But as I said, this game is four years old and there's nothing new to offer to be honest, other than those events that I was talking about. Unless you want to grow your rank in competitive season, which is now season 27 or 28. There's a lot of seasons in this game. Now, according to this leaker who goes by the name Metro in Twitter says that the next year on BlizzCon 2021, they are going digital and that is confirmed and that will show a new content for Overwatch 2 and it is likely to see a release date in the first quarter of 2021. 
when Overwatch came by, they had a lot of demos and testing for the game and they usually take time to release the game because they want people to build that hype up. But Overwatch 2 actually have all the same mechanics. So the only things changing is the story mode and more new characters and stuff like that. So I wonder what kind of testing they will be doing or what else they will be adding into this game. Now we know that Overwatch 2 will have story mode, right? But one of the important writers of Overwatch has actually left Blizzard. So a little bit concern is there on how the story is going to be. But maybe the story was already built and they are just probably working on the game. Who knows? So what do you guys think of Overwatch 2? Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited about the lore getting expanded in Overwatch 2? Because I am very much. I love all the animations and I would love to see what they got next for Overwatch. Well, that is all I had to talk about in this episode of Top Gaming News. Hope you guys liked this episode. Hit the like button if you haven't already and also comment down below and make sure to subscribe to this very channel because there's a lot more content coming up about games, community, tournament and so much more. And if you haven't already, make sure to join Gamer Connect community on Facebook so that you can take part in the Gamer Connect community showcase and a lot more activities. You can even discuss about games, play with a lot of people and much more. My name is Gin Manners and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.